Hey, what's up, my Bar None Warriors? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Bar None 11970. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. And we're going to teach you something that no politician, no school, no news media is ever going to teach you. And you might want to ask them why. Now, as you see before you, you see a copy, of course, of the Declaration of Independence. And you'll notice down at the bottom, like they always show you, especially with John Hancock, and you see all the other different signatures, declaring their independence from the British rule, the British Empire. Now, I'm going to explain one of the biggest lies that you can find out about when it comes to contracts. And before I mention that, I want to give you an example, so this way you guys can put it in proper perspective. So hopefully you're watching this with somebody you're trying to quote unquote awaken and realize how many lies have been told and not only uh, lies that have been told, but truths that have not been told because there's an old saying that says not telling the truth is the same as lying. So let's have a hypothetical situation. You have a car. Let's just say it's a 75 Pinto. Why you'd have that, I don't know, but for argument's sake, you have a 75 Pinto that you want to sell. You're selling it for $1,000. Somebody comes along and says, I've always wanted a 75 Pinto. I want to buy it. $1,000 sounds fair. Let's make the deal happen. So let's say this person's name is Bob Smith. You write up a contract. You both sign it. He gives you the $1,000. And he says, all right, I'll be back tomorrow to pick up my car. Tomorrow comes and another person comes along. Uh, let's say her name is Mary, Mary Miller. She says, I'm going to take that car. Can you legally give that car to her? No. Well, why not? Because the contract is with the other gentleman who purchased the car. You made an agreement. You both signed the document. That is the only person that could take that car because that car is theirs. It doesn't matter even if the person says, oh, well, you know, he said I can come pick it up. It doesn't matter. Her name is not on the contract. She is not legally allowed to get that car. Only the person that signed it. That makes sense? That's what contracts are all about. The people who signed the contract. So if you're a sports fan, and let's just say um, Alex Rodriguez decides to sign for whatever team you have. Now, can that money go to another player? Well, unless he specifies that it does, no one else can say, oh, well, you know, I, I want the money in that contract. Of course not, because... You can't do that because Alex Rodriguez would have signed that contract, that contract and whatever money is on that contract would be for him, quote unquote money. Somebody else can't take it. Again, it doesn't that easy to understand. So why am I talking about this? Well, if you notice, the Declaration of Independence has lots of signatures on it. And what you've been told all of your life is that the Declaration was for all the people. Well, if you understood the contract information that I explained to you, then you would understand that that quote unquote contract is only valid for the signatures on it, which means it does not apply to you. Never has, never will be. This is something you need to ask a lawyer about. This is something you need to question politicians or question your media. That would be a pretty important thing for them to research, don't you think? The question is not always what are the truths or what are the lies, but what are they not telling you and why are they not telling you? Now, as you can see, it says in Congress, July 4th, 1776. So this document has been around for a couple of months couple of hundred months, and yet no one is questioning anything about this. Why? Because how do you question things you don't understand or don't know? 
when you look into contract law, only the people that sign a contract are valid on it unless it specifies that it is going to go towards maybe the behalf of somebody else, like power of attorney, for example. This contract is for the people who signed it. Share this information. Learn the truth. I don't do this because I just decided one day I'm going to wake up and say, you know what? I hate, I hate the United States. I love America. I love where I was raised and brought up all of my life. I don't like the lies. I don't like the misinformation. I don't like the fact that it's not what it seems to be. I don't like the fact that they are paying off people, scaring off people, and doing all these things to keep the truth hidden. And you should care enough, too. That's why I need you to help share these things, to research these things, to question things. Because the media, when was the last time the media really questioned something other than reading from cue cards? When was the last time a major quote-unquote event happened and you went from channel to channel and there were different stories being told about it, different perspectives? You ever see that? Or do you see the same channel over and over again saying almost the same exact thing, sometimes verbatim, verbatim? There's a reason for that. We need to question these things. Well, you don't need to, but if you want real change in life, sometimes you have to be a little uncomfortable and take a step back to make a step forward. And I think so many people are afraid to lose what little quote-unquote comforts they have. Well, it's like being a drug addict. You know, if you decide today's the day I want to quit because that drug is killing you, well, you're going to go through withdrawals, and withdrawals are painful. But it beats dying. So sometimes there's going to be inconvenience if you stand up for what's right. It's very easy to do nothing. It's very easy to attack or make fun of people like me and others who try and help. It's very easy to ignore it. But then those who choose to ignore once they learn the truth or parts of the truth or the question arises that you don't ask, then you really shouldn't complain. So check into this. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this. Learn the truth about what's going on because I love the land that I live on, but that doesn't mean I have to love the people that have been lying to us and running it into the ground. Because as you see, especially in this country, and I'm sure it's plenty of other places in the world, it's pretty much the same. I mean, when you have people in other countries setting themselves on fire and places like in China where they have suicide nets because employees are so treated so unfairly, they commit, they try and commit suicide. And instead of the businesses actually giving them better wages or better working conditions, they spend the money on nets so they don't die. There is change that needs to be done. People need to wake up to these thing, things. So hopefully this will open your eyes a little bit, put it in better perspective. And then you'll have to wonder, why is it your school never taught you about this? Why is it the media never told you about this? Why has no politician ever stepped forward and even considered this? Or brought it up? These are the questions you need to ask them. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Chris. This is Barnon11970. If you appreciate this stuff, sharing it and giving it a thumbs up is always a beautiful thing. Leave your comments, hit subscribe, and start spreading the truth and stop accepting the lie. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.